Hey everyone, Jolt here. Let me show you what Excolitor can do. I have my article on a page about the art of close reading and now I'm going to start Excoli AI, which is a script that I just published in the script store. I'll change this to challenge my thinking and I'm going to change the output to mermaid and I'm going to click run. Now, while this running, I want to highlight that you need to sign up for a separate OpenAI API key and you also need to put some money on it. One generation costs around three cents, so it's not a lot of money. And when the generation is done, then sometimes the end result is not visible because there is an error. Uh, OpenAI sends back material that doesn't work. So in this case, I'm just going to run this again and hope that we are going to see a good result. But overall, I found that with a bit of playing, you can get pretty good mind maps out of this. So you can see that now the second time I actually got two mind maps. So it is two mind maps because I generate a vertical and a horizontal. It is exactly the same, but depending on the topic, sometimes the vertical or the horizontal is better. This time I'm going to keep the vertical one and I'm just going to change the line edge to sharp uh, because I like that more. And now let's look at what was generated. So yes, correctly identified that this is about the art of close reading. And so let's just see what the feedback by OpenAI is. So question precision and accuracy. Does precision always enhance understanding? That's actually a very interesting question because the article is about precision and accuracy but yes it's a good question does it really help my understanding if i'm precise exploration of breadth and depth can we always determine the depth of an idea super interesting question because sometimes you don't have a means to identify it i love this question and so on. I, I won't bore you with going through this, but based on what I can see here, I got a pretty nice challenge. So here the prompt was to challenge and extend my thinking on the whiteboard. And you can place here images of a whiteboard. You can place whatever drawings you have and ask OpenAI to provide feedback on it. I think this is a super useful functionality. Now, let me show you another cool feature. I'm going to open a new drawing for this. I'm going to open this blog post by Tiago Forte about building a second brain for your organization. And I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. I'm going to head back here and Xcoledraw has also added some features that are AI features. So you can find them here in the menu. I'm going to choose text to diagram and I'm going to write create a mind map based on the below blog post like this. And I'm just going to paste the blog post here and I'm going to click on generate. Again, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work, try to change the prompt this time it worked and here I will change this from top down to left right because again I like to read more left to right and I'm going to insert this image and so this is now the summary of that blog post so we have it's about organizations and deployments for training assess training leads set goals uh, products and services. It's a best-selling book, self-paced course, top benefits. I think this is an interesting one. Enhanced productivity, improved communication, advanced learning, streamlined project management. So yeah, I mean, this is the summary as a mind map of the article. Again, I think this is super useful. Similarly, if you have a text, you can convert it into a process flow or you can create an argument map. There's lots of different ways to use this feature. Now there's also another feature here. This is more like eye candy, but let me show you. So if I take this wireframe of a calculator, then I can start Xcoli AI. 
like this and I will now choose a different type of output I'm going to actually I have wireframe to code and I want the output to be HTML and now I'm going to run the code and as it generates again it will take a little time and sometimes the result is not so good but then you can try to generate again now in terms of cost generating this calculator costs me about three cents and for OpenAI to allow you to use the vision model you need to have at least five dollars on your account but overall it's not a big cost now let's try this calculator so i'm just going to type 12 times 3 equals it's an error so this time the calculator doesn't work so well but 20 plus 1 is 21 that works but we can also try this so there's xcolidraw also has a built-in functionality now to convert the wireframe so i can also use this feature here wireframe to code and this is doing actually almost the same the prompt behind it is slightly different but overall the end result is going to be the same while that's generating i want to show you that here if i click on this frame i can copy the source code to the clipboard so if i click on this then i can just double click here and show you that was the source code of the previous calculator and of course here as well i can copy the code if i want or i can just try if this time 12 times 3 is 36 so this one is a working calculator but each time the calculator is generated it looks different it's the fun of all of this now what you need to do to enable this is you need to go to plugin settings to xcolidraw and here you can set up your OpenAI API key so you need to click here on open an account and you can set up your account you must have at least five dollars on your account for the vision feature to work but after that you should be well set and the reason I created Xcoli AI so you can actually install it from here you come here to the uh, obsidian tools panel and you click here on install script and here i just can type x -E ai like this and that will take me to x -E ai there we go and if i click here it will take me to this place where i can install the script and once i've installed it i can i'll find this robot here and i can actually now i have two robots but uh, never mind that um yeah here we go i think this is xcoli ai so that's going to be that robot the reason i created this was to help you understand the functions that i've added to xcoli draw automate to help you create your own ai tools so if you open the xcoli ai script you will see my script here you can read this and i recommend taking a look at my release notes there you can see all the new functions that i've added to xcolidro automate to help you more easily and quickly create ai enabled xcolidro applications so that's all i wanted to share with you today I think this is super exciting and I hope that you'll have a lot of fun with it as well as I'm pretty sure that this is going to become an essential tool in my life to get feedback on the drawings that I create. Thank you.